guys and welcome to the CWNA Refresher Training. The idea to prepare this training series came up in my mind when I found it very difficult to go through the entire CWNA course all over again. Many a times while going through the course material for the first time, we don't realize the importance of marking important to read sections. This is true with the preparation of any certification. What it costs us in the end is the revision time. Because if we had spent some more time marking revision sections at the beginning, we will save a lot of time while revising through all those topics. Revisiting and revising an important topic would be so much easier. For all those who have forgotten to do this at the beginning, and also for all other enthusiastic individuals, this is the course for you. Now getting to the first video of the course, the two important W's that you guys need to know about. What is CWNA and why should I study for CWNA? This by no means is a promotion to the certification or the organization providing this certification. However, in my personal experience, I found this certification to be the cornerstone in my wireless career and hope it helps you too. Let's get to the point now. What CWNA stands for is Certified Wireless Network Administrator. I guess most of you here already know that. It's a foundation level certification for starters. The key here is the word foundation. It seriously lays down the foundation of where you ought to go with your wireless career. As we all know, a great foundation in any technology will go a long way. And finally, it opens up the opportunities towards the better understanding of the security and design of wireless networks. Why is CWNA so special? Here are some pointers to that. Firstly, it's vendor neutral. So that's a great start. You don't have to worry about vendor specific information and dependencies. Those dependencies always stand as an obstacle between you and the fundamental concepts. Because you always want to know how some things work in the rawest form before knowing the variations that are out there. Next, it covers the right basics to get you started in your wireless administration career. It gives you a good overview of all the important things to keep in mind when talking wireless. Also, it's all you need to start your wireless career. It also discusses different vendor implementations apart from covering the basics, so that you're ready to face any type of wireless network. Personally, the content has helped me greatly in troubleshooting wireless issues. As you go through the course with me in this series, you will come to know the fundamentals and the intricacies included in the content. As you can see on the screen, I've tried to list out the most basic information on the CWNA exam and certification. The exam code is CWNA106. The exam is held by the Pearson View Testing Center. The exam duration is 90 minutes and there are about 60 multiple choice questions. The cost for the certification is 175 US dollars. Please check the latest pricing on the CWNP website before attempting the exam. The most important of it all, the pass percentage is 70 for students and 80 for instructors. More information can be found at the CWNP website in the CWNA section. Please visit the Pearson View website, the CWNP section, for the test requirements. In this video we have looked at what the CWNA certification is about and why it is considered to be one of the best in the league of foundation level certifications. In the next video, we will be starting with the course material, chapter wise that is. We will also briefly look to the topics within the courseware. See you all in the next video, stay tuned.